How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolve. My name is Smojo. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys are having a glorious day. And let's go ahead and get started. So I did a little bit of things offline. What did I do offline? I made a saddle. That's it. That's the only thing I did. I killed a bunch of uh, killed a bunch of turtles to get the curtain because that's the, that was the main thing we need. We just need a bunch of curtain. But I ended up making a saddle for my dude, and uh, you know I was leveling up uh, the stamina on this guy, which I kind of regret now not the stamina i was leveling up the weight which i kind of regret now because the weight levels up very slowly right so i think the only thing we're gonna level on this dude is just the stamina um and that's and that's pretty much it that's the only thing we're gonna level up on dude is just the stamina so what we're going to do today or what i'm hoping to do today is to tame ourselves the uh the devil bird or the the turkey bird or the chicken bird or you know he has a lot of names well i guess i, I might be the only one to give him a lot of names but in my head he's got a lot of names so we're gonna be making a trap for him and then we're going to also be taming him. That's going to be our plan for today. Um, let me just split all of that in half so we can get a lot of the, uh, get a lot of this meat here, or spoiled meat. We need a lot of the spoiled meat. Lots and lots and lots of the spoiled meat. Very, 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 very necessary. But yeah, so that's our plan. We're going to be making the trap somewhere along this beach line. And then we're going to aggro him with the petty or petty or whatever we're gonna aggro him with petty and uh we're gonna we're just gonna take him from there lead him into the trap knock him out with narcotics and that's pretty much going to be our plan um after that i do want to do a lot of adventuring around the map just to see what we're you know where we're at uh what to expect i think we're gonna go a little bit a little bit of everywhere definitely down south um a little bit east and a little bit uh southeast as well just a little bit everywhere just like a nice solid circle to really see what's in our area um because we definitely don't want our base to be here right so we need to find a new spot to build our base because we got a we got some decent items here maybe even find an argentine because uh carrying all that stuff to the new base is going to be annoying especially on petty considering petty doesn't have that much weight i think an argentine would uh be be smarter it would be the smarter choice to do um but yeah that's our plans for today and we pretty much have everything we need up on um on on try here i i have to say like that each and every time we pretty much have everything on try already uh which is extremely amazing i'm going to kill where are you i'm going to kill him because he uses electronics now what level are you actually if you're high level i'm not gonna kill you level 24 yeah you're you suck bro you are not a high level at all so that's what we're gonna do um I guess the first action would be us taking this all the way down to where we're actually going to build the trap at. And then just using that. Um, while we're going down here, we might as well kill this dude, though. Might as well. It hits. Ah, he ran from me. He ran from me. It's okay. We're going down that way anyways. We'll catch up to him. We'll catch up to him. It's okay. We're definitely going to catch up to him. Let me get, let me get like a full nitrous boost here. Come here. I'm coming for you. I'm on you. Boom. Stuck in a rock. There we go. Nice. Get all the scrap metal. Electronics, oil. We're going to need it. Eventually. We're definitely not going to need it now. We're ooh, we're way too early game to be needing that now. But, you know, eventually that's going to be a necessity. So, how are we actually going to make this? Um, um, so, we would have to go up there. We can make it. Uh, I'm thinking we make it right next to that turtle. Yeah, I think that would be a good spot right next to turtle dude. Oops, I thought I could make it through there right next to turtle dude. I think would be a good spot to go ahead and make this at. Now the, the you know, the terrain isn't, you know, especially flat. However, I think it'll do. I think it'll do. Okay, let's take everything out. That. And... Oh, wait. Are we missing... S no, we just need these foundations. Okay. Did I take that? Yeah, I did. Okay, cool, cool. We're good, we're good, we're good. So, you can go there. I'll put you there, and I'll put you here. So, the first thing we need to do is place down the foundations. Um, We need to place down the foundations this way, because we want him running towards us, right? So... We'll place one there, and we'll place an... Okay, well, we can't do that. Well, I mean, we could just do this, right? 
Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. So we'll do that. And then we're going to take our railings here. Um, place a railing up there, just like that. Oh, hello. Trike. Have an intruder. Kill him. But don't go in the water. Uh, well, oh, my, my golly. Excuse me. Hello. Hello? It might... Whoa, sir. There's two of them. Trike! I'm getting attacked! Come at me now. Come at me now. You ate my crossbow, you... Big birds! Is this it? I need that. Come here. Let's go. Let's go. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up now? Huh? Come on. I'm gonna take y'all out. Easy. I missed you that time. He removed my spoiled meat, man. Man, y'all got too much health. Y'all got too much health for this. There we go. One's down. Where's the other one at? There we go. A level 130 and a level 145. Like, what? That's crazy. That's crazy. Took my spoiled meat, man. I needed that spoiled meat too. It's okay though. I got another level. Thank you. Okay, so we got this down. Uh, should probably pick this up. Okay, so this one might be a little bit too high. That might actually be an, be a problem here. Hmm. I think that's a problem. I'm going to go to an area that's not so high. Like, maybe here? Here might be better. Yeah. You know, and then... Let's try this, actually. Let's, let's, let's do that. Two of those. Put one there. And then we'll kind of just connect them. Like that. Right? Um... This actually might not work. Maybe we need just four foundations, man. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, we definitely don't have the resources to even make a foundation at this point. I thought this would work, though. It, it would work if... Um, I'm thinking it would work if the foundations were a little bit uh, like leveled out with the rest of this. Because, I mean... Okay, let's, let's just try it. There's a chance that it still works. So let's not knock it until we try, all right? Let's not knock it until we try it. Can I place this up? Yeah, okay, that works. This still might be a little bit too high, though, because we only got four stairs. Man, let's see. We place you right there and you right there, and then we try to 2D stairs situation. Let's see how far, uh, far down it goes. Ah, uh, I don't know. I mean, for a for a human, it doesn't work. But for a dinosaur, would it work? I mean, it's there. Still might be a little bit too high, though. Still might be a little bit too high. So, um, let me see. Take. I'm going to take you. I'm just going to confirm that I can't... Pl oh, wait a second. We can place you right there? Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold up now. Hold up now. The whole idea was the fact that the I needed a foundation, but... If that whole idea is obsolete at this point... And we kind of just don't need a foundation anymore. Let me test this theory real quick. That was close. Uh, if I, I think if I would have picked, picked up that foundation, all my door frames would have broke, I think. Okay. So yeah, we do need a foundation because now I can't place that because it, it just needs a nearby foundation. So 
maybe I'm able to just... If I do this, does that count as a nearby foundation? No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does it. Okay. So I think the foundation has to be actually attached to the structure somehow. Ooh, what if I did that? That's an idea. Um. Huh. What happens if I do this? That's near it. Yeah, it still needs foundation support. Okay, so we we have to build off of the foundation. That's that's what I'm getting at here. We have to build off of the foundation. Okay, that's that's doable. So if we do something like this, right? Let's pick up everything else. Because we don't need everything else here. And then we build off of this, right? So we make, uh, actually, we probably, well, do we have to? No, we don't. Okay. So we pretty much just build off of this. Since it's still connected to the foundation, my idea is that it'll still work. Just because that foundation is there. Even though, yep, there we go. Oh, we can't. We can't place one there though. Maybe because it's not actually connected to that foundation. It doesn't allow us to place it there. What if we do this? And then just do two stairs downwards. That way it's still connected to the ground. The dinosaur can run up here and still drop down. I think that's I think that's the play. I really do think that's the play. Can I there we go. Ah not perfect. But it doesn't have to be perfect. Oh at least we know it works. And yeah, I can still run up that. Yep, perfect, perfect. Well not really perfect, but uh working, working. <laughs> it works. That's all that matters to me. As long as, uh, as long as it gets the job done, as long as the dinosaur gets trapped and it's not biting my face, that's all I care about. And then we'll just need uh, one more right here. I guess we can make this one high, just for the sake of making it high. And we got two extra ones, which. Where should we put these? Put one there. I guess we'll put the other one there. <laughs> so basically the dinosaur just come up this, drop down into here, get stuck, and then uh, game over, pretty much. Game over after that point. I think this will work. I got faith in this, that, uh, that this will work. I got faith. All right, I'm gonna head back home. Go ahead and get uh get Patty, and let's test this. Let's see if it uh, let's see if it actually works. All right, so we made it on Petty. We're also crafting a lot of tranquilizer arrows. We had like maybe like 200 or so narcotics, which is nice. So we should have a hundred arrows, which should be plenty of arrows to put into this dude. Uh, even at the highest of levels, it should be plenty of arrows to put into this dude. We just gotta find him again. Somewhere up here. I actually don't see him. We did not go this far, right? I'm always losing this man. We didn't go this far. I know he's in here. But I don't think we went this far. I'm gonna give me some stamina. We'll click. And this forest is very foresty. <laughs> nice little waterfall over there to the left. Raptors coming at me. Oh no, they're going towards. There's a lot of raptors. Tech raptor? 
A lot of raptors in these woods, man. A lot of raptors. I've seen a lot of packs so far. Okay, we're gonna try to find this dude again. Um, oh, got stuck in the trees a little bit. Chances of him falling down here are very slim, but possible. Don't think that's what happened. Chances of him walking all the way over here, very slim. But possible. And I still don't see him in this area either. No. Uh huh. Okay. Let's let's run it back. Let's run it back. Maybe we just missed him or something like that because we just saw him. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Okay, I found him. I found him. I found him. I found him. So, um, we could try to lead him off because they don't take fall damage. Fun fact. Um, if you're not riding a mount, right, and the dinosaur decides to just fall off a cliff, he won't take fall damage. So, we could just, like, aggro him. Like, aggro him off here. Let's, let's just make sure. Where's the trap exactly? Trap should be all the way down here. So, we aggro him. He has a good little minute to walk. He has a good, good little minute to walk. We're kind of far, actually. Where are we? Yeah, he's got to go all the way over there. Which, I mean, it's, uh, the stairs are pointing this direction, so maybe that's good. You know? That way we don't have to turn him around once he does get down there. Um. But I think that'll be way better than trying to maneuver through the woods while he's following us, right? So, hopefully, we can just convince him to fall off the edge of the cliff. <laughs> Now, let's see. Hello. Right here. Fall off. Nice. Hit me just one time. And... Good job. Are you so aggroed on me? That you are? Or no? No, you're not. Here we go. I don't want to go too fast, because... Gotta keep him on me. Lost him again. But yeah, this, this this mountain is like mad fast. Oh, I'm pretty, pretty speedy right now. Petty is nice with it. I'll be honest, Petty is nice with it. And she's got a, a decent amount of stamina too. Not bad. At all. Not bad at all. I don't even know what level this dude is. I don't think he's that high level though, but... It'll be our first one, so... It'll be fine. Come on, keep it coming, keep it coming. I'm gonna line you up real nice here. And you go up. And fall. Nice! Good stuff! Good stuff! Love to see it. Love to see it. Um, I'm gonna put you on passive. Love to see it. All right, what level are you? You're level 20. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put a lot of arrows into you now. Oh. So you can actually break stone. That is something I didn't know. But honestly, I don't think you're strong enough, man. I think that stone is going to be just fine. I don't think it's going to break, at least. Especially not from a level 20. I actually want to see the damage afterwards. Because uh, if a level 20 does a lot of damage to that wall... Imagine what a level 150 is going to do, right? Okay, slight little update. I ended up running out of storage on my computer and I was recording, but I wasn't recording at the exact same time. So I, I didn't know that I wasn't recording, but we didn't do a lot of stuff. But, you know, besides the fact, we didn't do a lot of stuff, but uh, we ended up ended up uh, knocking out the creature, which maybe they're up now. 
I think we tamed him because he would have been right here. Man, we have we might have to actually go back there and check on it. But um, he got knocked out, and then I did a little bit of adventuring. I was looking at places to build a new base, which I was thinking uh, this ravine right here. Uh, let me open up the map real fast. Here's the map. So we live in that little thumb that I'm pointing at on my um, my little guy's icon. We're living at thumb. I was thinking about moving a base here, just like inside of this ravine. I thought it could be really, really cool. Now I'm not sure how to build bridges. Like I wanna, I wanna build like from there to there, and then like we'll have a bridge going across, and then our base will be on that bridge. But uh, I'm not really sure how to build bridges, so maybe that might not actually work. Uh, it would be really, really cool if it did, though. I'll be honest, it'd be really, really cool if it did. But uh, yeah, I just you know that's the first cool thing that I saw. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh. We need to head back to where we knocked out that uh that chicken bird guy just to see if we um if we actually like tamed him because uh before uh, you know before my whole recording situation happened I put some berries on him he was taming perfectly fine I don't see him inside of this little taming list which makes me a little bit scared so I want to head back just to just to make sure that he's still okay and make sure I don't get lost here yeah we're heading in the right direction I do got to be a little bit careful. Uh, in this area though because i forgot what the dinosaur's name is but there's like a small little dinosaur that goes really really fast and if you're too low on the ground on a on a mount they'll end up knocking you off on the mount and i'm not sure what that dinosaur is called but it is scary and we're almost out of mana here i mean not mana but stamina make sure i get me a little bit but yeah there's a lot of broncos in this area as well whenever i gave me like a, a nice carno or like a nice aggressive team a nice team that does like a lot of damage or whatnot we're definitely heading here and just killing the broncos just for experience just to help them level up a little bit because like look at this one two three four five six like seven like there's roughly maybe 10 broncos just just there alone which i think is pretty pretty crazy pretty crazy but um house is over there to the right Taming pin should be down this way. Hopefully the dinosaur is still in there because we worked really hard to get that guy. Uh, wait, do I see him? Do I see him? No. Yes, he's still there. So he's tamed. Yeah, he's definitely tamed up. Yeah. He's like, look at him. He's saluting to us. Standing tall on my level 29. Uh, thera How do you spell this? Therizinosaur. Therizinosaur. I guess they call it Therry. Therry. They're like a Therry. Uh, but yeah, we got a freaking, uh, look at this guy. Level 29 Therry, you know, not too bad, not too bad. Definitely gonna keep you there, though, because, uh, I cannot craft a saddle for you until I am level, what level are you, sir? You look nutty, level 60, but yeah, I can't craft a saddle on him until I'm level 69, so we're just gonna keep him there. I mean, we don't really have a place to put him except the base, but I mean, that's really about it, so I'd rather just keep him there until I'm level 69, and then we'll just make a mount for him. And we're just taking them away. Other than that, I really want to find like a new base location, man. I want to find a new base location, and I also want to kind of go towards the mountains to see if we can find some Argens. Because once we get a new base location, I am not going to be transporting all of our materials to that new base location unless I have an Argen. That's just how it's going to be. Because I, you cannot carry anything. Well, you can carry a little bit on these dinosaurs that I have now, but. Yeah, I, it's not gonna be enough. It's gonna be too many trips. With an Arjun, it's probably gonna be like one or two trips at most. You know what I mean? So definitely wanna get ourselves an Arjun. I just don't know where they actually spawn. And that's the problem. There's a whole T-Rex down there. What's our stamina at? Okay. Stamina, we should probably rest a little bit down here. Make sure there's no... There they are. That little bird right there that's flying really... Like, like going across the ground like really fast. Yeah, those guys are not nice. I don't know what they're called. But they're not nice. So we're definitely not making a base in this location because I do not like those guys along with the T-Rexes. So this this location looks nice. Not a great location for a base though. A lot of T-Rexes, uh, you know, it's, it's just dangerous. That's all, it's just dangerous. But it looks cool, I'll be honest. Like the whole cliff situation they got going on. Oh, oh he just fell all the way down. But this whole cliff situation they got going on, I am a fan for sure. Look, more Brontos. I do like this area though, where it's like a slope, you know, it like cuts the cliff in half and it's like a slope going up where it's like a hill. I do like that. I think it looks nice as well. But, ooh, we gotta get this drop. Let's see what this drop is all about. Hello. 
Um, what is this? We got ourselves a raptor saddle. Apprentice raptor saddle. Interesting. We have to tame a raptor now. Just to tame a raptor. I think we also have a skin for the raptor too, so that'd be kind of interesting. But headed back over this way, I kind of want to try and look at the mountains a little bit. Now, I don't want to go too close because we're definitely not prepared for any type of snowy, uh, snowy biome at all, right? We don't have the gear for it and it's just not a smart thing to do to go to the snow biome yet. So we're not going to do that, but I do know Arjun's tend to linger around mountainous biomes, which is something we're after right now. Ooh, I got to pay attention to my stamina. Got to make sure I'm keeping that guy in check. Let's see what we got around here, though. I'm not really seeing any dinosaurs that I'm not too familiar with. Uh, and we should probably collect this. Is this what I think it is? No, it's not. These are just bushes. Okay. Okay, I thought these were like uh, carrots or potatoes. Because we need those. I, I really want to tame a horse. I really, 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 really want to tame a horse. And for that, we need to get some potatoes or carrots. I just have no clue where, where, where you know where they are. You know what I mean? That's, that's the whole thing. I don't know where they are, but we'll find them. Hopefully, eventually, we'll find them. There's a carno down there. A lot of dinosaurs, man. A lot of dinosaurs. I like it, though. I like it. I'm a fan. That's a lot of carnos right there, too. Are those hyenas? Oh, no. Those are saber tooth cats. Okay, saber tooth cats. Oh, Argents. 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 So, let's see. What would the best play be? We need to find crystal. Find crystal. Um, Get ourselves a spyglass. And then get an Argen. I think that's the best play we got right now. That is definitely the best play. More T-Rexes, bro. We're not going to have another, bro. We are not going to have trouble fighting T-Rexes at this point. It's just not going to be a headache at all. We need to figure out where Crystal uh, where crystal spawns, though, because I've got absolutely no idea. But this area, we're definitely coming back here. Argens, T-Rexes. Like, it's it's a good area. For sure, it's a good area. Let's, uh, let me look at the map real quick. Okay. Hmm. Where would Crystal be? I do want to kind of check out that cave that we um that we saw the first time around. If you guys remember the cave that I'm talking about, but it's like it's close to where we actually where the base is. So I do want to check out that cave just because it's a cave. I'm thinking maybe potentially possibly there's Crystal in there. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know, but it's 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 worth the shot. You know what I mean? It's worth the shot checking it out because I'm not seeing any type of not even metal. I don't even see metal around here. No metal, no crystal. Maybe I'm not high enough. Potentially more T-Rexes, bro. Yeah, there is a lot of them. It's a little scary. I'll be honest. It's a tad bit scary, but as soon as we get a dinosaur that can handle them, oh, buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy is going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Let me see if I find any no, just rocks. What is that noise? There, there's no dinosaurs down there. But yeah, just a bunch of rocks that I'm seeing. Where are we? Okay. So we're in like the second thumb, I guess. And there, there's a tower. So we live all the way across this wilderness. All the way across. I think, uh, I think we're going to head back home and check out that cave. Because I'm not seeing a lick of crystal anywhere. Or metal at that, you know? No crystal, no metal. Maybe I'm not looking hard enough, but it's getting a little dark. And you know me, I do not like nighttime. I am not a fan of it. It's scary. So I want to head back home a little bit. And uh, I'll check you guys back when, when we get home and ready to check out that cave. So I decided to venture a little bit in a dark time here. Uh, just because it's not... I don't know what Ark did. Or if it's uh, Ark in general, but... It's not pitch black dark. It's nighttime, but I can still see pretty far. And, and like, I remember having memories of playing um, playing the island map and it was just pitch black dark in the nighttime. So I'm feeling a little bit confident since it's not pitch black dark and I want to adventure in this cave a little bit, see if we can find some crystals uh, in here. So I also don't think this is a legitimate cave, right? I think that you can go out the other side and it's just like, Okay, maybe I'm wrong because I just seen scorpions on that side. I thought there was a way out of the other side. Is that crystal? 
No. I'm not seeing crystal though. So far, no crystal. Yeah, okay. So we could just leave out this other side here, right? And we're back. So I don't think this is a legitimate cave where it's like, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about, like a legitimate cave. I think it's just part of the map in general. I'm just surprised there's no crystals in here. There's a lot of mushrooms. I'm seeing that. A lot of mushrooms. Um, But there was a little passage. Is that obsidian? That looks like obsidian. Hold up. I think this is obsidian right here. Yeah, this is obsidian. Okay. Um, I'm going to collect a little bit. Of, actually, can I still fly with you? Yeah, I can still fly with you. I'm not going to collect anymore because he is getting uh, over encumbered. But looking down there, I'm looking at scorpions and everything. It's a little interesting. Um, what in the world? There's a dung beetle, scorpion, and then there's like something else over there. I wish I had a spyglass. I need crystal to make a spyglass, but... I kind of, I, I think I can go in here with a flying mountain and be fine. I don't know what's, uh oh, uh oh. All right, let's leave, let's leave. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave. Man, I do wanna go in there just to see if there's crystal. Like I legitimately would love to go in there just to see if there's crystal in there. Only purpose. Sir, took my narco berries. I'm gonna drop this obsidian off at home. We might go back and just like, just say F it, right? And just go in there, you know, regardless of the consequences, get hit a couple of times, whatever. But I don't know, that's risky. It's either that or we go in there with the trike. If we go in there with the trike though, would the trike be able to kill everything in tank? I don't know what level those guys are in there. It's not a legitimate cave, so I'm not thinking they're high level, but I, at the same token, I do not want to lose a trike. So we would probably, potentially have to tame something else uh i don't know it's a sticky situation man sticky situation if there's crystal in there then we're goaded you know what i mean we're good but if there's not crystal in there then it's kind of like there's not crystal in there you know what i mean it's not good speaking of we can maybe get the the drops from raptor claws um i'm not sure how to find him i think i just fly like towards the middle of the map and then just kind of get lucky and just find him somehow i i believe i'm actually gonna try that real quick this will be my first time doing this though <laughs> but i'm not sure where to look i think i'm just gonna i think i'm just gonna go straight into the air and see if we see him because you should just be able to see like presents falling right at least I, I believe so. I don't see anything though. That's a cool looking, uh, I think that's a stego. Cool looking stego. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. I, I don't know if he like comes later on or something like that, but. I am not seeing a single Christmas present at all. Oh, there's Arjun's right here. So we don't even have to go as far as we went last time. There's Arjun's, uh, there's Arjun's right here. That is interesting. Is that metal? Hold up. I know it's dark. I know it's dark, but. Oh, I landed right next to a saber tooth tiger. So there is metal here. Metal is check. A snail? I don't know what that is, but that is check. Kangaroos? Kangaroos are check. I don't know what that big green thing is. I'm looking for crystal. If we could find crystal on, on somewhere near here, then uh, we'd be good. We might have to come back in the daytime, though. Because I can barely see anything. So I know you guys can barely see anything as well. So we might uh, just have to come back in the daytime. But it's nice to know there's metal here. That is... That is actually really, really nice to know. Yeah, I don't see anything down there. But we do have metal. Which is really, really good. Really, really, really good, actually. So, yeah, we're going to head back home. We're just going to wait till daytime. I can't see anything, and I'm scared. So, <laughs> we're going to wait till daytime. I might potentially even tame me another trike just for attacking things. You know what I mean? Just level up uh, melee damage and then uh, health. And go inside of that cave, kill everything, and hopefully, 
hopefully there's metal in there. Hopefully. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. Because if there is, not metal, but a crystal. If there is crystal in there, that would be amazing. If not, then it's okay. Um, but there's always a chance, right? There's always a chance. Um, but yeah, we're going to save that to the next episode. I do appreciate you guys as always for... Oh, where's the sun? Turn around, turn around. Face the moon. There we go. I do appreciate you guys watching. Always, thank you so very much. Um, I hope to see you guys on the next episode. And I will see you guys later. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you guys have a good one. Peace. Are you tired, Petty? Don't be yelling at me like that. Why are you circling me? Stop that. You look dangerous.